the NYPD is reassigning hundreds of undercover anti-crime officers as the third week of protests for police reform continues here in New York City. CBS 2's Allie Bauman is in Lower Manhattan with the latest. Well, Alice, this group just took a little quick break from marching and kneeled to listen to speeches. They're getting up now and continuing on to Canal Street East, just crossing Hudson Street right here. This is the 19th consecutive day of demonstrations in New York City against police brutality. This group started gathering in Washington Square Park just about two hours ago. And right before they started gathering, the police commissioner made an announcement saying that uh, the plainclothes anti-crime officers will be no more. That effective immediately, they will be reassigned. Every precinct in the city has uh, dedicated undercover anti-crime officers who are specifically assigned to uh, related to crime spikes. Uh, the police commissioner says that due to the nature of their work, these officers tend to be in more police-involved shootings than others and effective immediately. Those 600 undercover officers citywide in the anti-crime unit will be reassigned to other divisions. And what we always struggle with, I believe, as police executives, is not cr keeping crime down. It's keeping crime down and keeping the community working with us. And I think those two things at times have been at odds. I would, I would consider this in the realm of closing one of the last chapters of Stop, Question, and Frisk. Well, today the police union said in a statement in part, quote, city leaders have clearly decided that proactive policing isn't a priority anymore. They chose this strategy. They will have to reckon with the consequences. In Lower Manhattan, Allie Bauman, CBS 2 News. There's more change coming. Governor Cuomo has signed additional police reform bills into law effective in New York State now. Both state and local police will have to report within six hours when officers discharge their weapons. The legislation also includes the Police Statistics and Transparency Act, or STAT Act, which requires courts to publish racial and other demographic data, demographic data, that is, of low-level offenses. Under the new law, police must also provide medical and mental health services to those who need it while in custody. All this coming just days after the governor signed other major police reform bills, including banning chokeholds in New York. And more actions are being taken in New Jersey as well. Attorney General Gerber Graywall is ordering all law enforcement agencies to publicly identify officers who commit serious disciplinary violations. The departments are required to publish an annual list of officers who've been fired, demoted, or suspended for more than five days due to the violation. The first lists must be published by New Year's Eve.